All right, I'd like to call to order the Warren Grove Public Library Board of Trustees special meeting in the Cooperman Boardroom, June 27, 2012. It is 6.05 p.m. And Secretary Berg, if you could call the roll. Trustee Elvers. Here. Trustee Berg. Here. Trustee Kellerman. Here. Trustee Goldstein. Here. Trustee Hoffman. Absent. Trustee Peters. Here. We have a quorum. Um, we were going to interview a candidate tonight who uh, is not going to be here for an interview. He took a position on another board in town. So I learned of that through some emails during the week and saw him minutes ago when he told me he wouldn't be available for us. So that leads us with the two people who did apply and we did interview them. So I, uh, <coughs> I don't see the need to go into executive session and have any further discussions unless you want to. Um, so, if there is a trustee who feels strongly about one of the candidates and wants to make a motion that we what were the names? Wanna, there were two folks that we talked to, the lady and the city brand, city brand. Barbara Novick. Yeah. Okay. Um, I move that we appoint Barbara. And that would, be, that would be the wording of a motion oh. applicable for this. I move that the board appoint Barb Novick as trustee of the Monroe Public Library to fill the vacancy created by the removal of Trustee Quinn. Can I ask at this stage why? Well, then he'll say he's Well, then I'll just ask for a second. So would we have a second on that motion? Yes. Now, any comments or questions? Yeah, I'd like to know why you arrived at that conclusion. I'll tell you how I arrived at This is just personally. Um, Mr. Grant. Grant seemed like a very nice gentleman, but his main idea was to have a cooperative with Oakton Community College for four credit classes. And the Morton Grove Library is, cannot charge for anything. And he had mentioned things like biology classes, and I didn't really believe that we had the space feasible for this, nor do I believe that it's the, um, the purview of the library to provide uh, credit of uh, junior college courses. So for that reason and that reason alone, um, I did not think Mr. Grant would be the best choice for trustee. I was impressed with Ms. Novick's um, <coughs> enthusiasm about restoring the Friends group. Is she a member of the Friends Is she I, has she ever been a member? She used I to. have no idea. I don't uh, know this person. I've never met either of these. Former people. volunteer at the Barber Grove Library. Yes, she used to be. Um, okay. She was a member of the Friends Group? I that I don't know. You don't know. They didn't I, keep I, records I think of their membership. Her word was volunteer. So I know yeah. volunteer yeah. for membership. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Didn't keep the, they didn't keep a written ledger of it. That was one of the reasons that they were disbanded. They couldn't produce a, a written ledger. That's why they don't I exist think anymore. The reason they, they broke up was because they didn't file the proper papers. Well, that was neither, part of it. Yeah, neither. there were several things. Anyway, we're discussing. But she does list, right her, list herself as a volunteer at the volunteer group. Uh, would it be appropriate to put an addendum to the motion that? If by some chance uh, Ms. Novick you know, decides to say, oh, I changed my mind, that we then appoint Mr. Brandt. No. I think you can't have default to, like that. No. You have to we put it out for Open it up again. You'd have to put it out for bid. I think that would be for the appropriate both. thing well, to do. Or, yeah. Well, you'd be down to one candidate. No. But if the person wasn't the right candidate, then it perhaps you don't want open. to. You, I don't think you're allowed to default to somebody. Right. That have, that would have to go to an appointment. Yeah, we could reconvene and, and either vote on him yes or no if she turned yeah. it down. Correct. 
Yeah. And then if we voted yes on him, then he'd be on. If we voted no on him, then we'd open up okay. the rest. Just of trying to trying to save a little time in the meeting. That's all. <laughs> okay. So. Um, I mean, we need to take a vote. To if there are no further comments or questions, then can you call the vote? Okay, uh, Trustee Berg, I vote for Ms. Novick. Trustee Kalanick? Yes, I do. Vote Trust, for her. Trustee Goldstein? Goldstein. And Trustee Hoffman is absent. Trustee Peters? Yes. And Trustee Elvers? Uh, yes. We have a four, four to zero with one abstention. <clears throat> so then that motion would carry, and we would have appointed Barbara Novick as our trustee, who will serve until the next April election. election. All right. Um, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you. Second, no objections. We are done. Oh, thank you. <laughs>